Hi, I'm Beverly Burnson, and yes, my nickname is Bevo. After the Longhorn Steer, mm, I'm not sure. I'm also a Texas A&M fan. Go Aggies. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you and just to say thank you to my Facebook friends, my YouTube friends, and all my friends on social networking about my beauty and lifestyle reviews, my cooking, the Larrapin Cook, and also uh, my music. I'm excited to have a new single coming out called I'd Give You Everything. And I've had a, a single recently, not long ago, about two months ago, called Mosaic Gold that I went in the studio and recorded. And I'm excited about my new romance novel coming that I've on my second chapter and I'm also uh, excited about my heaven book about my heaven journeys and yes I was on life support as many of you have known and I was in a medically induced coma for five days or four days and then I miraculously survived pneumonia and yes, it came from exasperating on dark chocolate, Ghirardella. Oh my God, I love it. And dark roast coffee from Starbucks. And I don't fault either company whatsoever. It was my own concoction. I love it. And no, I wasn't drunk and I wasn't on alcohol that night. I'm just excited to be able to say that I'm here today to encourage you to be the best you that you can be. There's nobody that has your fingerprint. Nobody has your voice print out of six or seven billion people. And nobody has your DNA. You're unique and you're special. And if you're in school trying to go through grade kindergarten through 12th grade, I want to encourage you. It's okay. If you're going through depression or anxiety or being bullied, I've done all three. I've been through all three. I was bullied to the point where I was hit in the head with a baseball bat, actually a softball bat, but it knocked me out and it made me feel really bad. Then I was ganged up on by about 12 people after school to be beat up when I was in sixth grade. And I had some friends, and you guys know who you are, who stood up for me. And I have to say, the coach of the football team and the baseball team and everything stood up for me also and took me to the nurse's station. And I haven't forgotten Coach Clayton. Thank you very much. I graduated from Kilroy High School in Kilroy, Texas. And yes, it was the oil capital almost around the world's richest acre, actually, and the world's richest acre ever from the 1930s. And even though we came here in 1968, I have to say I'm glad to be a part of East Texas. And bipolar disorder was what I was diagnosed with in 1997. And I'm among a great group of people. Winston Churchill was diagnosed with depression, uh, President Abraham Lincoln, they say he had bipolar disorder. Van Gogh, you kind of knew about him because he cut off his ear. And I'm thankful I haven't done that. It would be pretty hard to survive something like that. Although I was told I was going deaf and I had a stapendectomy surgery, which saved my hearing. And I'm not deaf today. So I want to say thank you to all those who tune in to my videos. I'm here to say, I appreciate you, and I love you, and I want you to stand tall and stand strong. We can do anything that we set our mind to do. My dad one time had a round to it. He made out a little quarter wooden pegs that were made shaped like a quarter, and it's on the front of it, it said round to it, and on the back of it, it said, I can do all things. And it was based on that scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I, I handed them out by the dozens and dozens and dozens when I was five years old at the Louisiana State Fair. Well, you can do all things that you set your heart to do.
and I'm proud of you and I want to say thank you for following me. Thank you for sharing every video. Thank you for being there to like and even if you don't like some of the things I say, I don't mind hearing from you because I learn a lot from you. Thank you for being here. I'm Beverly Burnson, and this is all I have to say for today. Bye for now.